informally. And we have 232 of these informal settlements only in Cape Town. Wow. And, in, and this is what you will find along in, at most at mo or most of the big cities, Johannesburg, Durban, Cape Town, and of course, Port Elizabeth. Those are those, those areas where there is jobs. Yeah. Of course, many of the people that come are unemployable, which means they end up just living as squatters. Any other question? I'm going to leave you within the next two minutes. I wanted to also express my gratitude of meeting you. I want to thank your tour leader for giving me the opportunity also to meet you. I will share that. I will share that within my, within my community, telling them of who I've met for the day. Of course, bringing you to the township was not to show you our poverty. Bringing you to the township was showing you our tenacity. Bringing you to the township was to, to affirm that you, that the strength of a people is not measured by how much you have and how much you can consume. It is how little you have, it's for being hopeful that you have a better tomorrow. Of course, bringing you to the touch is also an affirmation of what Neil Armstrong spoke about when he, said, when he declared 50 years ago that one step by man is a giant leap for humankind because it's on these little excursions. We are basically addressing our ignorance. We learn in traveling. We grow in traveling. And I want to, and as I said, it is you as visitors that free us, me, of my own stereotyping. Because by interacting, when I met you this morning, I met strangers. I was petrified. I didn't know what I was going to expect. But leaving you, I will know I've met a family. Appreciate you. And that is what it's all about. So that I, and I want, before I leave you, I want to teach you a course of phrase, a phrase that you have to take with you back to America. We say in Kosa, and I want you to know, I, I want you to say, say it with me. We say in Kosa, Kuntu, Kuntu, Gabantu, Gabantu, Gumtu, Gabantu, and it means a person is a person by virtue of other people. It basically says no man is an island, and it means also that I am because you are. So that now, what we did today was just reconnecting. You've been here before. You will be here in the future too. And this is just the bridge that we're building. We're planting seeds for the next generation yes, to, yes. to reap the fruit. The fruit. Yeah, we are just the planters, so we will never be the they beneficiaries. That's right, that's right. But just now, we played a role. And, as, and, I, and for, for all of you, I must say, you are great CEOs. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Do you know what is it? What is my CEO? What is it? It's got nothing to do with business. <laughs> my CEO is cultural exchange officers. Oh. You have become cultural great. Cultural exchange officers. That's right. Yeah, you have become as we are here, like as people. We as people are like knives. We know that one knife sharpens another knife. We, as people, learn from each other. Yeah, you yeah, know, I will tell you. So I will say to you, thanks for coming home. And wherever you're visiting, 
now home is Africa. That's right. Yes. And goes. Thank you, brother. And goes. It's like miles and miles of township. Yeah. I went to one. I went to one, one in Kenya. I thought that one was bad. He would say, "Reach out and touch." Somebody's head <laughs> to make with a better place. Well, we'll get it for you. They'll text it to me. Yes, we can. can. Yes, we can. Yes, you can. Thank you. Yes. Love Reach you, out and it touch does. somebody's head to make this world a better place. Yes, we can. All right. All right, brother. Oh, uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll post everything on the WhatsApp page. Oh, you have his information? Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh he leaving? Yeah, he said he's going to our last Oh, okay. Thank wait, you, brother. Wait, wait, tell him to wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. 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 Yeah, yeah, I, yeah I, I kept them for us uh, as oh, a group, but uh, you can add more. You can give them more. So this is... So they woke up. This way. Open the door. Uh, you can give me like 200. Alright, so I added to the other 250, that's uh, almost 500. And, and we deserve a lot more, brother. I mean, you educated us way beyond we ever could imagine. Oh, yeah, we're we on the road. Hey, brother, thank you. I'm the tour guide from here to the hotel. Oh, no, Are we locked? Oh, wait! <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. No, I'm not that. <laughs> Keep my mouth shut, right? As y'all told me. So I appreciate you. That's us taking care of somebody that took care of us. Yes. A brother had yeah. this, I mean, the oh, revolutionary right. spirit. Yeah. I'm like, where did this revolution come from? Oh, I forgot to Yeah. But uh, when he took me to the, the, the orphanage, I mean, he went into details. Uh, I can't say, I don't know. Uh, we'll have to talk with the other guy. But she hired him specifically for the township and for what we're doing on this part. Tomorrow's more tourism stuff. Um, he wasn't really actually, he wasn't included in the in the tour. Did, did, I thought that he would be... You it would be more relevant to us as, as, as black people in America. To come along with me today so that you could just yeah. get more information. Yeah, and, and we were able to relate to him on certain situations. So it was it was a great um, it was a great idea. And thank you for doing that. That was definitely special. I did also pressure you, so. Oh yeah, so you got you got away with a lot of money. Yeah. It's good. Well, well, sometimes it worked that way, and I'm sure he's gonna do good stuff with it, with the extra. I believe. Thank you, Quiggy. And so this is, uh, we're back at Langa, so this is the other uh, township. And this is primarily uh, colored. This is where they start that. Uh, this is where they start that. Uh, this is where they start that. This is where they start that. Our family can be quite pleased, our family. I think, listen. Our guy, uh, Sharon. On the right and on the left, these are what we call the colored um, settlements. So here we are. Our family, can, you, can we get everybody attention, please? Thank you. Okay. On the right and on the left, we have, this is the colored communities. So at least here we have, I live just on the right hand side. Just oh, 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 I see your mansion. Oh, I see your mansion. It looks nice. So that is where, um, and you'll see that we at least have proper structures. We have a foundation, we have walls, we have electricity, we're not in a shack. So we consider ourselves uh, luckier than the people that live in Langa, Gugulaitu, and Kayalicha. I mean, also, uh, my experiences with segregation. As a kid, we were moved out of this big house that we were staying in, and we were moved into this township here called Bishop Lavis. We then had to study by candlelight, we had an outside WC, toilets, no geyser, no hot water, and still we were better off than the people in the township. We had a proper ablution facility, although it was outside the house, compared to the, the black townships. <laughs> Before the 
I built these structures, it was also, it looked exactly like Kailicha, just um, shacks. So they've now, there's only about a third of Langa that still needs to be replaced by proper structures. So it has been many years that people have been living in poor conditions, living conditions like this. There's the place that he showed us earlier, where the boys go to the bush to be circumcised. So colored boys go there also? No, it's only in the black uh, communities. showed you at the uh, orphanage there's a uh, there was a big door with a carving on it so behind that door there's a window that you open up you slide it up in a small square window and this is where if you don't want your, your baby you take this newborn baby infant and you drop it in the box and in the box there's a um, like a cot so the child gets put on the cot, they ring the bell and then in the house they will hear that somebody had dropped off a baby in the box. Exactly. 